Hey guys, today we are in a new account for Rival Stars. As you can see, I'm on grade 2. I did a tiny bit of um, leveling and stuff. So, basically, um, I'm just going to show you like the playthrough until grade six or seven so you go into the stable and then you have to build a furl stall then you also have to buy a horse stall and then you have to breed a horse so you can breed yes okay find the perfect stud um hmm i like the the box skin might make um so yeah you do this and then you can easily just skip i i was lucky enough to get a black mare so then you should get um um a foal because I don't think that the, the breeding can actually fail. And on desktop you can get really like cool patterns. But this horse is so like bright you can't see the markings anymore. You used to see them like on like the markings are like kind of like kind of like rib cages kind of. But they're not like actual rib cages, they're white highlights that look like the ribs under the belly. Um, so, yeah, so then you go back into goals and then click collect. So, then you have this quest, which you can all do in the stable. So, then you upgrade to level two and then you can come back and collect this and then collect income from this is such an easy um one so you can collect it and then sometimes you get a gift from happy visitors which can be really helpful for like breeding so then you don't have to quick buy then one thousand run one thousand four hundred over races so you can unlock two old medals meadows um and then you can see so this is a thousand meters which would means you could do three oaks um like after so then you pay and start the race. So you try and get the starter gets us underway get us here at Sewell Meadows. Meadows. Right so up there early, early. it's jealous it's deadline. deadline. False, False noise starting, starting well on the well inside. On the inside. Still going, it's false noise. Jealous deadline in second spot. Next, it's zigzag cupboard. Neck and neck with dagger dodo. Battling with rats romp. On their back is technical Thursday. False noise showing the way. Jealous deadline in second position. Just ahead of zigzag cupboard. Domino act in fourth. Doing battle with rats romp. Continuing around the track, it's Jealous Deadline. Domino Act gaining momentum and flying through. At the 400 pole, it's False Noise. Jealous Deadline traveling on the outside. Neck and neck with Dagger Dodo. Domino Act next. Meters from the line, and it's False Noise. Dagger Dodo in second position. Toe to toe with Jealous Deadline. False noise in control. Like nice Dagger Dodo in second so place. They set like sail for home. It's false like noise. But it's it's so Dagger Dodo it's breaks, it's breaks their hearts. hearts. False noise. Second. Second. Third, Third at the line. line. Domino, Domino act. act. Um. So basically, it doesn't matter how like if like because you 
this is the pattern that the fall had, by the way. So, now, when you finish that, you go and check how many meters there are. So, there are 400 meters to run, so you can go, and then you can go onto Tree Oaks, Three Oaks, and you can do the 800 one. So then, it's quicker to finish the goal. We're underway here at Three Oaks. False noise is off to a fabulous start. Punters would be happy with themselves early. Going fast on the outside, it's Empress Empress. False noise, heaping the lead spot. Terrible thistle, wants the front. Empress Empress, pressuring just behind. False noise, leading the field. Citrus change, beginning to make ground. Heads up and down with terrible thistle. Just behind, it's Empress Empress. False noise, holding the lead. Citrus change, wants the front. Followed by terrible thistle. False noise, leading the field. Citrus change, in second. Terrible thistle, in third spot. Coming up towards the line, it's false noise. Citrus change, in second spot. False noise, still outrunning the rest. False so yeah. noise, salutes when first, just scoring from line, Terrible Thistle, yeah, Citrus Change, gets the, gets the third the place. Items so you don't have to click buy for every time you breed. So then you can train your horse to stat four. So, and you finish the one with Francis Kwan, and then... You, up, you can upgrade the homestead and the income. So, the income is more, imp kind of, like, has the same, like, more important, like, it has the same amount of importance as a storehouse. The storehouse, it just stores stuff that you, um, obtain from races. And then, the income, it gives you daily, it gives, gives you maybe, like, it gives you like a fair amount of money every time you upgrade it you get an extra amount so like at the start you know when i claimed six thousand gold from the um income then now that it's just been upgraded it'll give me more when it's full again so now you would just want to quick level up all the stations all the facilities and then this should be your last um, goal so when you collect then you click done you should level up to grade to level three so now you can bet on your race result you can care for your falls you can do the quick ride and you can also get tack for your horses now. So now we have um, all of these. So first you example, for example, you would want to do the income first. And you should have the, um, the lumber and the brick. The bricks to do the upgrades because you would obviously obtain them from races or and like previous quests so you'd have to buy a horse stall and change your fall stall for to tier three so grade Then you can go in here and add a horse. But if you run out of gold, this is where the income comes in handy. So you go, and there should be at least one available payout, and it can give you 800 if it's at a certain level. 
and then you can go back into your stable and then add a horse stall so now you see we don't have that many um how that much gold left so now you could to get more gold and complete a goal you could do up and coming with this guy here place first at three oaks race two so you would go into this one then don't bet unless your horse has um if your horse has like first second or third best odds then do bet do bet yeah and then but if it has somewhere you'll just end up losing all the money you pay it's race there. on here it's at here. three oaks, oaks. And, first and first away is away false, false noise, noise. emerald is umbrella is also, is also in the run, in the run. 700 a race, it's false noise. Coin Cappuccino in second place. And then it's Emerald Umbrella. Trying to fend off Daffodil Monkey. False noise in first place. Coin Cappuccino in second. From Daffodil Monkey. Putting in a strong bid with Emerald Umbrella. False noise running for fun. Coin Cappuccino in second spot. A length behind, it's Daffodil Monkey. Closely followed by Emerald Umbrella. False noise, maintaining the lead. Coin Cappuccino to the outside. Pushing hard in front of Daffodil Monkey. False noise, still in the lead. Daffodil Monkey in third. One length away, it's Emerald Umbrella. False noise, punched out and won it. Just holds by Daffodil Monkey. Emerald Umbrella in third. So now that you can collect your reward and then you might get your bashing reward if you bet if your horse is at a good state like a good odds then you might have betted so so let me explain so if you're on like sewer medals you would choose to bet so you would see you would bet if your horse had the best odds and my horse does so i would bet and like you can bet the highest you can bet in the middle you can bet wherever you want like in coin in gold so now we're halfway through well almost halfway through the um, Great, um, Prestige level 3. So now he's asking you to place first at Sewer Medals Race 1. So, for typically, if your horse leveled up from that race, you might want to go into the training and level up your horse. And then that's, that was also one to train a horse to level three. So that's another um, prestige quest done. And win 2,000 from races. And then with the 2,000 you could maybe upgrade all your facilities. And then if you win 2,000 from racing, and this is a race, and you can do this race, then complete this one, you can cl complete both of them, and use the money you got from this race to upgrade these. So, you see here, you can like, yeah, um, so now you want to go to the race. Sewer Medals Race 1. So your horse has the best odds, so therefore you can bet. Betting really helped me grind on my other um, account, because I got like millions in just a few minutes. It helped so much. So yeah, no, 
And then again, try to get We're underway here, here at Sewell Meadows. Meadows. False, False noise, noise is the pacemaker. Is the pacemaker. Starting, Starting well on the outside, the outside it's manifold, manifold blur. blur. The, race the race continues, continues with, with False, False noise. noise, manifold, manifold blur, blur in second, in second position. position. Two, Two lengths, lengths away, away it's, it's Noodle, noodle Advice. advice. Day's Day Beard, Day fourth Day spot. spot. False, False noise continues to show the way. Manifold Blur wants the front. A length away, it's Chili Peppermint, just in front of Day's Beard. Pounding down the course, it's False Noise, Manifold Blur, in second place. Two lengths behind, it's Tax Earth, going hammer and tongs with Chili Peppermint. False Noise, still in first position. Manifold Blur, in second, followed by Tax Earth, putting up a challenge to Chili Peppermint. False noise in first position. Manifold blur in second position. Then tax earth trying to keep off chili peppermint. False noise continuing to show the way. Manifold blur in second place. Tax earth in third position. False noise the leader. False noise steals the show, just in front of Manifold Blur, third at the line, Chili Peppermint. So now you get your bet winnings and the prize pool. So now that you know you can possibly win the race, like over and over again, I do recommend you bet to the top, like most, like every single race you do, if you've already played it a few times and then you've won. So now we have both of these ra these goals completed. So now you can collect this one. And you can also collect this one. So now this is the final one. So you want to go to your facilities. And you... Want to upgrade all of them. So, now when you finish this goal, you should be leveled up to prestige level 4, and you'll receive 2400 gold locked in your. A new race, and then you have your feature uh, to hire a jockey, breed a horse, and then sell it. So, for example, you could breed them. So then you can skip this. If it's a cute color, like if you like it, then you can keep it. Or if you want, you can choose to sell the follow that you um, obtained from the breeding. For me, I will be getting rid of this horse. So, you'd want to finish the goal. So, now you can do these races. So, upgrade the homestead and income, the storehouse and the income. So, you've also got some gold that you can get. So, now your income payout is higher so now you have also more space in your storehouse and you you can then so now we you see that we're almost halfway on prestige level um four Oh my god, what is happening? Okay, um, goals. 
story. So, now you can win. This one will probably be one of the easiest ones, so just upgrading the fall stall. Because it's done quite easily. And now you can collect this. So now you want to train a horse to do all of these. So you would have to do some of some of these races. So to train your horse, or some of the horses that you buy, like if they're high grade, sometimes they come with a higher level that you can instantly um, level them to. Is this level six? So I would have to use um, my grade two horse because the higher the grade, the higher the level will like how because this is grade one, you can only get it to five out of five. But for the grade two horses, you can do ten out of ten. So now you would want to race. Go in here. Then, so you have almost the best odds for the race. Freezing Fashion has a front pack, front pack position preference. This affects where they like to race in the pack. So, it's easy to, um, so for me, I like to hire jockeys, but you currently can't. Uh, do that right now so you'd want to bet so then you can get some from winning you can bet for a load of money I once bet um, a lot of gold and then I got 98,000 from it and then you off they go. First out of the gates is Fortunate Toy, a bad start for the favourites. 1100 out and it's Fortunate Toy. Freezing fashion, settling in well. Up against King of the Tortoise, Starry Song. Next, Structural Certainty in second spot. A length behind, it's Tricky Battle. Steam Strike, travelling off the fence, just has a margin over Freezing Fashion. Starry Song still pilots the field. Structural Certainty in second position. Then Tricky Battle. Pushing hard in front of Steam Strike. Freezing Fashion in eighth position. Next, it's Death's Word. Starry Song leading. Structural Certainty wants the front. Two lengths away, it's Tricky Battle. Freezing Fashion not looking comfortable. On their back is Death's Word. Starry Song piloting the field. Structural Certainty wants the front from Fortunate Toy going hammer and tong with Tricky Battle. On the inside, it's Freezing Fashion putting in a strong bid with Death's Word. Starry Song still in the first position. Freezing Fashion on the fence and then it's Death's Word. Starry Song dictating the pace. Freezing Fashion needs to get into a better place. Just has a margin over Death's Word. A last second win from Starry Song just holds on. Fortunate Toy, Structural Certainty gets the third place. So when you lose um, a race, you lose all the money that you put in for the bet, which makes it really, really difficult to do stuff. But now your horse is a higher level, and this is also where the income can come in handy so it gives you more money as you can see and then you would go and then you might want to, f to sell this horse like your starter horse for me I will sell it And this video was already pretty, pretty long, so I will do a part two of this. So, 
make sure you like subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video bye